On a dark and gloomy All Hallows' Eve, two not-so-young people prepared for market. It had been three weeks since they'd brought their wares to town, and Killing Frost had left their farm very depleted. They hoped for success, but fate has its own plans. And the Blue Moon Curse could bring them a bad market! I'm pulling carrots! Rainbow carrots. Got fill in my buckets. We don't know what's gonna sell. I specifically planted these rainbow carrots um, for the fall to let them get a little bit bigger so we have something that has a little bit more color, a little bit of pizzazz on our farm stand when all we're basically selling is carrots. <laughs> Can you turn my book back on because I can't touch my cell phone? <laughs> Do you know what this is? Voles! Voles eating my carrots! This is what happens at this time of year. I go and I pull up my carrots and there's no carrot left in the ground because a bull has come and eaten it on me. Psych. Jerks. Ugh. That one. Beauty. There, that. One of the things I like about making our videos is that we don't really know when we're filming where the video is going to go. And this one is the perfect example of that. This is the latest market in the season that we've ever done. We've never even done a market in October before. And this one is at the end of October, obviously Halloween. And I don't know if it's going to be a complete disaster, if there's going to be people there. I assume with the holiday that it might be a bit busier than normal, but um, maybe people are done going to the market for the season. Maybe people just don't want to now. I don't know if it's going to be like a $200 market or if things are still going to be strong and we're going to be able to pull out like a five or $600 market. I really don't know, but it's not really about the money this week. It's more about market research and just getting a handle on what people are looking for when they shop at this time of season. Because like I said, we don't really have any data points to plug into our, uh, our equations to figure out you know, what we should grow and how late we should grow. You know, There's lots of other farms that have already closed down and maybe they know something that we don't. Maybe we really shouldn't be selling at farmer markets anymore. It's just not worth the time. Or maybe, maybe there's an opportunity for somebody like us to really go all in on season extension and try to grow super late in the season and just capture all the customers that we can and, and actually still make decent market sales. 
But there's only one way to find out, and that's to put it all together and go to market. Time to use my unicorn power to beam into the future. What are you doing? All the walnuts fell off the walnut tree. I'm using the last little bits of daylight to try to get some walnuts for us to bring down to the market. It's cozy. It's about 10 p.m. now. Uh, my back seized up when I was digging this trench. I had to dig a trench tonight because uh, tomorrow I have an electrician coming to hook up power down in our chicken coop. And I had to get that trench deep enough for code for running power down there. I love digging, but I don't necessarily love digging in a narrow trench two feet down. I had to go take a little bit of a rest and have a hot shower. But now I am feeling a little bit better and I gotta go load up the truck and I gotta, you know, sort through some of the veggies still and do some of the packing. Back at her. So I'm trying to figure out how much we have that is getting sent down to the market. Because my goal is always to send um, over a thousand dollars so we can sell a thousand dollars. The flowers, they're adding up, right? Like, so this is a hundred dollars worth of the dried flowers. Because this is five twenty dollar bunches. Um, so we figure with the ten dollar and then these, there's $400 in the flowers. Look at this. We have tomatoes, blow everyone's mind, fresh tomatoes. Not vine ripened, but still fresh. Um, yeah, so, you know, that, that's maybe 50 bucks. I have 150 bucks in kale and Swiss chard. You know, we're gonna send a big basket of garlic. I have like an insane amount of carrots. <laughs> I don't know, how much how much carrots do you think there is? Enough that we can sell them all day. Yeah, like hundreds of dollars worth of carrots. They're so good. Um, yeah, so there's, there's definitely gonna be, you know, hitting that thousand dollar number, thousand plus. So Ian should have his best market ever. We should finally crack that thousand dollars. Um, I have a few things to do, but I think that 
The thing that we need to have a thousand dollar market is magic. And Ian's gonna bring the magic at this market because he's gonna be a magical purple unicorn. So if if that doesn't if that doesn't do it, I don't know what will. I haven't even asked you yet. Like how was it doing the bouquets for these? It's definitely like a whole new skill set to work with the dried flowers as opposed to the fresh flowers. So I'm definitely I'm not feeling very confident. <laughs> I got five done and I think they're really pretty and I think that they're all unique looks. So, you know, it'll be a good test to see what what sells, to know what people are going for. Um, but as you can see, I have lots and lots to work with. So, you know, there'll, there will definitely be a video. There will be a video of me putting together some dried flowers bouquet, bouquets and hopefully we can sell them. I mean, it, this represents a lot of work and a lot of product all spread out here. So it would be a shame for it to go to waste. I think you did a good job on them. Yeah, I mean, seeing them all spread out, I'm amazed at how much I have to work with. There's more here than, than I thought there was because it had all been kind of getting just boxed away throughout the summer. So I was definitely impressed with the, you know, the options that I have. The market's over now, and I can't believe it. We sold $720, which is, you know, maybe our average through the summer was kind of like $750 or so. So it was almost like a full summer market. And here we are at the end of October. The dried flowers sold okay. Uh, the thing about the dried flowers is that if they don't sell, they just go home. They're packed away really easy, and then they come back to the next market. So it's not like we feel the same pressure to sell every single one of them. Garlic sold really well again. Kale sold uh, decently. We had tomatoes and basically we sold out of those. We sold out of eggs in the first two and a half hours. People really liked uh, my costume. My joke of the week, because I always like to have a little go-to joke lined up, is uh, when people would be like, nice costume, I would be like, this is actually my normal clothes. Uh, it's just that one day of the year I can look like uh, a regular person wearing a costume instead of... You know, when I say it right now, I'm like, 
I must have delivered it better in person because it got some laughs, but uh, it, it doesn't really sound that funny right now. But anyways, the gist of the joke was that I always dress like this, and this is the one time of year that uh, it looks normal. I am really happy with this market, and uh, now it's time to go home and get some sleep. I was really impressed to hear that we sold how much? $720. $720 because that is like better than we were doing in August. That is back to some of our best markets of the year. And without fresh flowers, without, you know, pretty much all of what I consider are really big money makers. You know, we didn't even have lettuce. Mm -hmm. We we sold a lot of veggies. So a lot of garlic. Yeah, well, which is a veggie. Yep. But really, really impressed with how those numbers went because we suspected like, you know, best case scenario, $500 day. It's not just about the money amount. It's just good to see that uh, if we bring stuff at this time of year, there's a full selection of customers to buy it. Uh, lots of people there still shopping for the groceries. So that means that, you know, if we're trying to push the season into the late parts of October and November, that there'll still be people there to buy our stuff, right? So we can have more than what we had uh, this week in the future, in future years. We can have more. Yeah, we can do better. Uh, planting in the summer to have available for fall crops. Yeah, and and that is the main thing that we want to find out by doing markets at this time of year. And obviously this isn't the end of our test. You know, we were super successful a couple weeks ago for our Thanksgiving market. This market was really successful too. The true kind of tell will be how the rest of November selling goes but we are excited for the future, seeing what we did this week. Okay, that's probably good. The neighbors are staring at us.